I never really watched it. It was sort of before my time. Uh, I, I was never really into it. I, I love that show. It, it, it's a great show I will watch, you know? I don't really know. Like, my dad's got a tattoo of it. My ex loved it. F*** that show! It's ridiculous! Oh, I, can't... I got DVDs, posters. Oh, I... He bought me an Emo Metro t-shirt for our anniversary. I love it, man. I love it. I saw an emo and a metro working at a pizza hut. The next night, went to Beryl's house with a friend, Matthew Troy. We filmed it, produced it, put it on YouTube that night. Emo, did you use my razor again? Why do you hate me? <laughs> oh, emo. Yeah. Well, that got a few million hits. Um, and then that got on a late night TV show. And then we just got our own sitcom, basically. Yeah, and when we first met, we were bickering about which was the best series. Yes, I think season five? No, season two! It was an emo, it was a metro. We live in the same house, what do you know, it's emo metro. Emo, did you use my razor again? <laughs> I'm cutting myself because I love you! <laughs> oh, Emo. Yeah. Seriously, children. Suicide is no laughing matter. Whilst we cut to this ad break, remember, don't cut your wrists. It was appropriate that we should just have an Emo Metro theme on our wedding. It was, it was just beautiful. That the bridal party uh, were gr grouped into Emos and Metros. It was around the seventh season of Emo Metro. He decided we needed something fresh, something innovative. I'll always stand by my decision. Emo Metro Fun Exploration and Emo Metro Police Department, both very good decisions. You betrayed me for the last time, Metro. You have no obligation to offend my honor. Are you okay for this? As I tell my students, a TV show is a business. It's a thing, it's a franchise. It's a franchise you're selling to a demographic. But it's also, it's a, uh, it's a creative vessel that you're putting your ideas into. And when you're selling your ideas, your ideas are becoming something so much more. Crazy Anthony! He's been decapitated, Metro. Look at this emo. Huh? Keys in a wallet. And track records. The guy was a gambler. Guess he ran out of luck. It's like he should have quit. While still still ahead. Everything was going pretty well. And then we just began fighting. I'd say the drugs were the, uh, the majority of the problem. Don't be a thug, get off drugs! Aiden attacked a bunch of gothic teenagers and accused them of copyright infringement. I don't want to, I, I do not wish to talk about that issue. Yeah, things started getting, uh, real messy around that time. He started putting me in positions I didn't want to be in. Emu gets chased by a swarm of bees. Emo gets punched in the crotch repeatedly. Emo narrowly avoids death by sodomy. The worst thing about the whole thing was I didn't want to be put in those positions. So when it finally came to the Christmas Survivor Hawaii Challenge, I walked out of there. He was never an economically viable asset. I mean, what? He's still doing film and television, isn't he? You know, he never had big aspirations or dreams. I went on to start the Academy Award winning film by James Cameron, Avatar 6. Pandora strikes back. He was the emo, always sulking in the corner, hiding away from his dreams, hiding from reality. I was the Metro, taking steps forward, making daring advances. Indie Metro, nerd Metro, queer eye for the Metro guy, and to top it all off, the Just Metro show. Hey, nerd Metro was the highest viewed Australian pilot in history to date. I'd like to see bloody Avatar 6 or whatever it is, try and, try and top that. Here I am with my mansion, and he's sitting there 
teaching business to 13-year-old prepubescent kids. He, he doesn't have the raw respect that I do from teaching. When you've got this great power to change the world with your mind and your vision, what are you doing with it if you're not sharing it downwards, pushing it onwards onto anyone else? You're not being a true human being with that power, are you? You're not using it for good. I am a true human being. I'm pretty sure I've failed Year 12 VC because of Mr Viral. He genuinely knows nothing about what he's teaching. He's never run a business. He just got famous off some YouTube clip. All we do is watch his YouTube videos and respond with our own ones to bump his ratings. I'm pretty sure he's ruined YouTube for me, which I didn't think was possible.